word of God. Hallelujah. There's a power in the word of God. Well, let's quickly move forward. If the, the word of God carry a lot of power that we cannot even finish mention them one by one. But what I would like you to understand is that how do you get this word of God to be effective in your life? Now, how do you get, how do you make it to work for you? How do you make the word of God to be effective in your life? Each and every one of us need to understand this. This is very, very, very important. It's highly required for you and I to see the word of God to be effective in our life. Let me tell you about three or four things. Number one. You have to eat the word of God constantly. You have to eat the word of God often and often. I believe strongly in prayers. I believe strongly in many, many other activities in the presence of God. But I would like you to understand that the word of God excels. The word of God is highly required in the life of every Christian that we see God in action. Because he has sought his word above all. That's what the Bible says. Hallelujah. The word of God must be a daily food. You remember Matthew chapter 4 verse 4? Jesus said, your life must not just live based on bread or rice or any kind of food alone but according to the word from God don't expose me I'm not saying you cannot eat your kind of food you love you usually eat but at the same time the word of God you must see it as a spiritual food that you have to consume on daily basis on daily basis I don't know if somebody get what I'm trying to say but listen to this so many of us we do eat our food we eat food about four or five times per day some three times per day probably some who don't have enough to you know, to buy me eight for only two times per day. But we shall have a way. How many of us giving time to study the word of God for three times per day? How many people, how many so-called Christians, how many of us minister of God giving time to study the word of God three times, five times per day? This is where the question is. Because God wants us to understand that the word of God, his word is the best food for our spirit. So if we try to grow our, our, our body, our physical body, and we don't grow our spiritual aspect, it's dangerous. So for, for both of it to have a good balance, we need to make sure that we have the balanced diet of the word of God. Very, very important. Very, very important. Some people remember to eat the word of God just only on Sunday. Some prefer to just eat the word of God only on Sunday. And they're in the church. Or when they're going to church, they just remember, where's my Bible? I've been looking for my Bible. Where is it? Where is it? And started cleaning the Bible. <laughs> it shouldn't be like that. The word of God must be your constant food. God bless you, Pastor of Divine Grace. Thank you. You eat in the morning, eat it in the afternoon, eat it in the evening. Probably in the night when you wake up, you have to eat it as well. That's what the Bible is talking about. That's what Jesus, our Savior, is revealing to us in that passage. Until you can do that constantly, often and often, that is when you will grow spiritually and the real giant of the word of God will manifest in you. God loves you. He will manifest his glory. What is sending me 
through this message to you. He's sending this message to you through my life that you still lacking the word of God. Please, you need to take note of this. This is very, very important. Very, very important. 